In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a vector blueprint in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, begin with making shapes and illustrations on the canvas. Here, we have used simple shapes such as the circle, rectangle, and the rounded rectangle. Once done, increase their stroke weight to 5 from the stroke panel towards the right. Now change the stroke color. To do that, double-click on the stroke box and enter 5A8BC8 in the color picker window. Fill in the inside of the shapes with white. After this, select all the shapes using the Selection tool. Make a copy of these shapes by going to the Edit menu and selecting the Copy option. With that done, paste the copied illustration by selecting the Paste in Front option in the Edit menu. Click on the double arrow present between the color and stroke box, which inverts the color selection for both the shape and the stroke. With that done, remove the stroke. Next, we will apply the Scribble effect. For that, we will open up the Effect menu, move over to Stylize, and select the Scribble option. To add to the effect, what we've done is use the Rectangle Shape tool and created several shapes appearing as lines of different thickness, kinda like a measurement scale. Now we will add text to the illustration. Select the text box and insert your text. We have used Helvetica Condensed Light Li as the font type, while keeping its size at 24. For the text, reduce the stroke weight to 1 and change the stroke color to the blue color previously used as the inside fill. Use white as the inside color of the text. To add dotted lines to the illustration, make a small rectangle from the shape tool. Copy and paste the same rectangle by pressing Ctrl-C and then Ctrl-V. Repeat this step and arrange these small rectangles in a straight line. Zoom out and group all of these by selecting them, right-clicking, and choosing the Group option. Copy and paste this wherever you want to make more dotted lines in the illustration. You can change the size of the dotted lines as well. Alternatively, you can use the dashed line option to make dotted lines.